Today I want to show the MIPS Navigator ICS building and debugging source code on an Altera Stratix 3 development kit running the new MIPS compatible MP32 soft processor. So first we'll look at the desktop here, look at the target system. This is an Altera Stratix 3 development kit with the EJTAG daughter card connected to a MIPS system navigator probe. I'll go ahead and power on the target and reset it and then we'll move back to the desktop where I'll show first the configuration of the target system. This is a screenshot from the target builder and what I want to show is the Altera MP32 processor up top here and then the LED PIO unit here. This unit drives the LEDs on the front panel and this is what we'll be uh, toggling with the software. Next I want to bring up the MIPS Navigator ICS IDE. I've already created a project here called MP32 Demo that includes four source files. I'll build the project. Now we can see some binary, the binary MP32 Demo Big Indian Binary and several other build artifacts that were created. In order to debug the project, we need to open up the Debug Configurations dialog, right-click on MIPS ICS application and select New. This will create a new debug configuration. We get messages up here that indicate that we need to specify a probe serial number or an IP address. We also have a little red X here that indicates this tab needs some attention. So we'll click over there and we'll check out the settings on this tab. We're going to connect to the target using a MIPS probe. We we'll use the default GDB. We're going to reset and stop at main. We're going to download code and we're going to attach to the target. I'm going to set this to 1. So we'll reset the target and then attach after one second. The Indianness is set to big. This was set automatically based on the executable. And we need to select a probe. So I'll press the Scan for Probes button. It found my probe. I'll select it. I'll set this checkbox so now it'll remember that this is my default probe and will fill it in automatically from now on when I create new configurations. Click OK. In the configuration name, we're going to scroll down here and select MP32. And we're also going to check this ignore reset event notification during launch. Whenever the target is reset, a notification will pop up telling you so. Since we're planning on resetting the target, I don't want to see this notification during the launch. After the launch, if the target gets reset for any reason, I'll still be notified. All right, we're ready to debug our target. I'll click the debug button to fire off the launch. Down here we can see the launch progress, some activity in the GDB console. And here we are. We can see that we stopped at the first executable line of main. And what I'm going to do is single step down a few lines. Now this line, blink LED 0, this will turn off all the LEDs. In the small PIP window, down in the lower right, you can see the LEDs on the board. When I step across this line, they'll all turn off. All right, now we're entering a endless loop here that does nothing very interesting, but it will blink the LEDs using this value variable. This variable just simply increments and, and does a binary count on the LEDs. So I'll set a breakpoint down here. We'll run to that breakpoint, and then I'll step over it, and we'll see the first LED come on. Then we'll run again to the breakpoint, step over it, we'll see the second LED. One more time, and we'll see three, or the first two LEDs, come on. So let's remove our breakpoint, and let's free run here. Now 
Now we can see the LEDs free running through a binary count. We can simply halt the target. Set our breakpoint again. And we see the LEDs change. So that's about it, a simple demo showing debugging of an Altera Stratix 3 development kit running the MP32 soft processor using a system navigator probe.